hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have x minus square root of 9 is equals to x and we solve this problem for all the values of x first we need to find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root but there we solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these two methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section also here i can just give you the reason of uh, solving this problem for first method is that if in your exam the question statement is that uh, you just need to find the values of x or you solve this problem for uh, the roots or you need to find the roots of this equation okay so for this type of question uh, you just uh, solve this problem for first method but if in your exam the question statement is that you just directly determine the solution of this equation uh, then you move towards our second method but both of these new methods are valid for any type of questions now here uh, we move toward the solution of this problem and here first uh, you we rewrite this equation as you see here this is square root of 9 and we know about that square root of 9 becomes 3 and this is equals to x and here for the for uh, in order to find the values of x here we need to take a squaring on both of the sides and when we take squaring it will be written as in this form and further in the next step uh, here uh, we just use uh, an, another algebraic formula but for here if we move first the right hand side to the left hand side and it will becomes x minus 3 whole square this is the positive term when we move it into the left hand side it will becomes negative and this whole equation is equals to 0 and further in the next step here we use the nice algebraic formula you know about that if we have a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b and you see here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b so after applying the below formula we write our above equation as so here first you have a minus b so here our a is x minus 3 and minus our the value of b is x only into this is a plus b the value of a is x minus 3 plus the value of b is x only and this whole equation is equals to 0 and in the next step here we need more simplifications and you see here this is the negative x and positive x are cancelled out by each other and we obtain here this is minus 3 into here we have this is x plus x becomes 2x and this is minus 3 and this whole equation is equal to 0. And further in the next step here we need to remove this minus 3 from left hand side and for this we divide both of the sides by minus 3. And when we divide both of the sides by minus 3 it will be written as in this form this is also 0 divided by minus 3. So this minus 3 is cancelled out by this minus 3 and we will get here this is 2x minus 3 is equal to this is 0 divided by minus 3 becomes 0. Okay because you know about that when we divide 0 with any number it will become here 0. So here in, uh, in the next step we need to find the value of x and for this we move this minus 3 to the right hand side and it will become 2x is equal to plus 3. And here further we move we remove these two from left hand side and for this we divide both of the sides by 2 and when we divide by 2 it will be written as this is 2x divided by 2 equals to 3 divided by 2 and now these two and these two are cancelled out by each other and we will get here our x is equals to 3 divided by 2 so this is the value of x and here in the next step uh, we just uh, we need to verify that is this value of x be the solution of a given equation or is this value of x be the extraneous root so for verification of this value we need to copy down given question statement here it is x minus square root of 9 is equals to x so this is the our uh, given question statement and here we need to put the value of x on both of the sides and it will be written as this is 3 divided by 2 minus this is square root of 9 is equals to 3 divided by 2 and here further we have this is 3 divided by 2 minus you know about that square root of 9 becomes 3 
equals to 3 divided by 2. And here we need to take the LCM of this term and its LCM becomes 2 and you cancel these two terms and we obtain here this is 3 minus. From here we get 2 times 3 becomes 6 and this is equals to 3 over 2 or not. This is the our claim or this is our check. So this is 3 minus 6 and 3 minus 6 becomes minus 3 divided by 2 is equals to 3 divided by 2. And here you see that this is the negative term and this is the positive term and these two terms are not equal in general or in other words we just say that it is not possible. It is not possible that minus 3 over 2 is equals to plus 3 over 2. So this means that the value of x is equals to 3 over 2 is not satisfied our given question statement. So this means that uh, x is equals to 3 over 2 be the extraneous root of the given equation okay so this is the extraneous root because it does not satisfy our given question statement and here we cannot get any value of x which is satisfied our given question statement so this means that this question has no solution in general so this is the final conclusion of first method and now here uh, we move towards our second method and in second method uh, first we need to copy down given question statement here so that the given question statement is x minus square root of 9 is equal to x so here our second method be the direct or quickest method so that here we just directly conclude about the solution of this problem for this we move this minus square root of 9 to the right hand side and it will becomes we move x to the left hand side so this will becomes x minus x is equal to square root of 9 and we know about that x minus x becomes 0 and square root of 9 becomes 3 so here you see that 0 is equals to 3 it is not possible that 0 equals to 3 so this means that here we cannot get any value of x which is satisfied our given question statement so this means that this question has no solution so this is the final conclusion of second method and on both of these two methods you see here both of these two methods tells us that this question has no solution and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos